Hello, members of the AFT. I am so proud to have your support and be your partner in this election cycle. Now, I've got two kiddos who've been home from preschool since March, so in my house, every day is Teacher Appreciation Day. And there are so many issues at stake right now for teachers, students, families, and school communities. But I'm confident that here in Texas, we will send champions for public education to the State House, to Congress, and of course, the U.S. Senate. I know I'm preaching to the choir when I say that schools are more than just centers of education. They're places of safety and care. They provide essential health services and nutritional assistance to kids. They're centers of community engagement and support for families. But keeping kids and teachers safe must be our first priority. We need leaders who will take action to stop the spread of COVID and make sure that schools are safe. My opponent, John Cornyn, has defied warnings from the scientific community and pushed for Texas to open prematurely, which has left our teachers and families in danger. He's downplayed the seriousness of the crisis and consistently undermined health experts and the CDC. He's even spread outright misinformation with dangerous comments like, we still don't know whether children can get and spread COVID-19 while kids right here in Texas were getting sick and dying. I'm a proud product of public school and a mama bear for my two young boys. And I want y'all to know I will fight for you and all of our kids. I hope you'll join me in my fight for Texas families as we take on John Cornyn and kick him to the curb. Tonight, I'm asking each and every one of you to stay involved with AFT, volunteer with our campaign, to run for office yourself, to vote and make sure you bring everyone with you to vote, and please keep having conversations with your families and neighbors to get them on board. There are powerful people trying to keep their lapdogs like John Cornyn in office, but there are more of us than there are of them. And if we all stand together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Let's get it done, y'all. We are gonna have a lot to celebrate in November.